common call that we get from customers, especially around the holiday season, is a clogged garbage disposal. It's a really simple thing. We experience it a lot. In some cases, not that big a deal at all. Today, what I want to try to do is show you a bit more about how you might be able to deal with this on your own before you call us. Using a food disposer is a pretty simple thing, but a lot of people don't know how to use a disposer properly. So the first thing that you should know is it's not really a food processor. It's more for things that you planned on eating. One of our customers said to us, if you can't chew it, don't do it. I think those are the words that you should live by. They should be for plate clearings. If you're chopping bulk potatoes, bulk broccoli or something like that, you should probably avoid a real heavy dose going down your disposer because even though it might go through the disposer, it might later wind up clogging your drain. Before you go ahead and put anything in your disposer, you should turn your water on and use cold water. Cold water helps keep all the food together and keep it passing down the drain, whereas hot water helps it kind of break down into smaller particles, more likely to clog. So make sure the cold water is running before you start the disposer. Then start it. Once it's running, you can actually feed food into it. And once you're done adding the food that you need to get rid of, keep the water running. Give it another 10 seconds or so. The reason that we're doing that is to help keep the food traveling down the drain. I mean, once it goes through your disposer is one thing, but it's still, in some cases, got a long way to go before it gets to the street. So make sure you're doing that. If, though, your disposal starts to fill with water, jam, or make a, a slow humming noise, it might be that it's actually clogged. And at that point, you're going to need to go back and get that wrench that came with your disposer. Most people don't have it. It's a really simple and small item. It's really just an Allen wrench. So if you have an Allen wrench in your common tool set, you can use that. But what this is is a device that will fit dead center into the base of your disposer and will help you turn the gears manually. So we'll show you that now. Dead center in the bottom of your disposer is a hole that this can be inserted into. When you fit this into it, with the power off, of course, you can manually turn the gears. As you see right here, it's moving pretty free and clear. If it were clogged, sometimes I might even have to use a second hand to hold the unit so that I don't spin the whole thing. But if what you can do is just get those gears moving again, you'll be in really good condition. If it doesn't work, you might have actually popped the reset button. Disposers have a feature on them. It's like a thermal overload, basically. It's a switch that will pop up and shut the unit off. If you're trying to run it and run it and run it, you could eventually burn the motor. So this is a protection device. It's a little red button, but since it's upside down it's really hard to see most people you know you have to feel blind I'll show you in a moment on an actual out-of-the-box disposer both of these items that I'm talking about this is that reset button that I was speaking about that reset button will pop out you'll actually feel it. it's like raised off the surface if that happens you're gonna definitely want to unjam it and then press the reset button try some water and try the disposer again so if you've got a clogged disposal and you've still got this wrench around you'll be one of our like top 1% customers that actually keep this but even if you don't have it, you can still use a standard household Allen wrench. Put it at the bottom, you should be able to get out of the woods. But if you're still having trouble, please call Boston Standard, the company you count on. Thanks.